Some of you may know uh, Penny, but she's she's been uh, critical in terms of some of the activities that we have been doing here in the Bay Area. Penny Opal Plant is the co-founder of Idle No More uh, from San Francisco Bay. She's the co-founder of Movement Rights and a signatory of the Indigenous Women of the Americas Defending Mother Earth Treaty. She has worked for more than 35 years to ensure that the sacred system of life continues in a manner that is safe, sustainable, and healthy. She's a Yaki, Cherokee, and Choctaw, Penny Opal Plant. Good morning, relatives. My activism started here in the early 80s. I was in my baby 20s. And um, it was the first place that I was arrested many times, along with Jackie Cabasso, Marilea Kelly, and probably a lot of you in this gathering here right now. It seems like a long time ago, like we should have got this one taken care of, but we haven't. And as I was driving here early this morning, because I didn't know how long it was going to take, and I came from Richmond, so I got here just after Marilea did, um, the sun was bright red as it came over the horizon. And I couldn't help but wonder what the sun looked like on those days after the bombs were dropped in Japan. And I was thinking about our Japanese relatives here and their ancestors that looked up into the sky and probably saw the sun rise a very bright red like what we're seeing. And the connections between what's happening around the world with all of the wildfires and what's happening around the world with nuclear weapons and other types of weapon pr proliferation. And the, the thread that ties all of this together is capitalism and corporate profiteering off of what we do with our lives. We are good people. We just want to live in a, in a, with clean air, clean water, clean soil, and working for a beautiful future for all of our children. Pat and I are both co-founders of Idle No More SF Bay and signatories on the Indigenous Women of the Americas Defending Mother Earth Treaty. And as grandmothers, and many of you are grandparents here, I know that you understand that what we're leaving as of today is not what we've enjoyed in our lifetimes. And that's not okay with me. And I know that it's not okay with you. That <clears throat> there's not a lot of young people in this crowd. And that makes me sad, but happy for the young people that are here. It's time for us to reach further out into our communities, to bring in everyone together. And I think that a platform of clean air, clean water, clean soil, and a vibrantly healthy future is something that we can all stand together on, that would join, join the nuclear, anti-nuclear movement with the movement of stopping and mitigating climate change. We need a platform that's going to bring all of us together so that when there's, there's an action around climate, that all of you are there. And when there's an action around nuclear weapons, that this area is filled all the way to the back like it was in the early 80s. I was one of the thousand people that was arrested and put into those big giant circus tents at um, Santa Rita. Who, who in this group was in that tent? <laughs> yeah, my affinity group was actually born out of Jackie Cabasso's Walnetto's affinity group, and um, and that was powerful. That was really powerful, and that's the energy that needs to roll out again. That's the energy, people power, that will solve these problems that we're still facing today. Whatever it is that we need to do to inspire people, young people in particular, to join, join us here 
And every we time people... The first, we're, first we're, we're only progressing. We have a libertarian. Okay. We have so, a are whatever we need to do to rise up together with the young, with the, the old, all of us as one human family, is what is being required of us right now. So the next time that we're out here, let's commit to bringing five more people. So that'll be five times more people than are what here are here today. So bring yourselves, bring five more people with you. Have information to give to young people that aren't really, it's not in their mind yet to connect nuclear weapons and climate and climate profiteers and nuclear profiteers, the government officials around the world that have been bowed over by money, by greed. And I just want to end with saying that my enemies are not any other human being. I understand that we are all related, even to our relatives who are insane. Because people working out of a position of greed are working out of a type of insanity and mental illness. That's how I hold them. Our en my enemies are the thought forms that created separation. We all used to live in very tight communities. The thought forms that created colonization, that's what separated us from our communities and the thought forms that created capitalism, which now we're seeing the apex of that, that is destroying everything that we need to exist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.